Pick up in three, two, one, T minus nine minutes and counting. Ground launch sequencer is now controlling the countdown events. Over a thousand launch parameters being monitored now by the computer, which can stop the countdown at any time that any one of those parameters falls out of limits. We'll carry the countdown until T minus 31 seconds when Columbia's, Columbia's computers take over. At T minus 8 minutes 37 seconds and counting, this is shuttle launch control. PLT, OTC, configure fuel cell, essential bus, source, switches. But OTC, PLT, is that configuration is complete? Okay. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 7 minutes, 35 seconds and counting. Preparing now to retract the orbiter access arm, which can be put back into position very quickly if there be a problem. Acknowledge the caution part of step 1040. OPU acknowledges. Copy that. JRPS OPC start APU and hydraulic strip chart recorders. JRPS copies and recorders are running. And we'll be going into the auxiliary power unit pre start activities in about 10 seconds. by for APU pre-start in about 30 seconds. All flight recorders are running. Firing chain and the SRB and external tank range safety systems are being armed now. For TC PLT 3 APU starts. For TC copy, step 1051.
Pilot Ken Rominger reporting the APUs look good. T minus four minutes. This is the main engine helium purge sequence, which prepares the engines for main engine start. Engines now being gimbaled as a steering check for Columbia. T minus three minutes, vehicle on internal power. So we go to pressurize the liquid oxygen tank on the external tank. PLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. The beanie cap, the gaseous oxygen vent hood now being retracted. Memory cleared, no unexpected errors. OTC copies. And Columbia OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, and enjoy a weightless Thanksgiving. Yeah, this is good for ET. Right, uh, we sure appreciate all your work for this flow and this morning, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. I did that. Flash metal liquid hydrogen now terminated, and the hydrogen tank is pressurized. One minute, 30 seconds. Sound suppression water system now being armed. Solid rocket booster joint heater is now being turned off. Final check of booster commands. Locks and LH2 fill and vein valves are closed. External tank strut heaters are now off. Taylor Bay vent doors are positioned. As a three LCC violation. And we have a hold. Clock at 31. Yeah, let's and, and to see propped up. Our limit is now 300. Oh, excuse me, sir. We have a hold. Stop one started. The entity, uh, give me your latest reading. Okay, we're now, we're now descending down to 290, up to 325. We're steady at 425, 450. This is hydrogen concentrations in the aft. 370. We're going to... 590. Five seventy. Five seventy. Five seventy. And at DDC Trap, we've got about forty five seconds left to go. Five hundred. 
And uh, we have confirmed this looks like low pressure leakage, so this is an acceptable amount of leakage to launch with. Okay, I've got 520 right now. A copy, uh, SD entity. SD copies. 575. 610. Five eighty. Watching the hydrogen concentrations, which are trending above and below acceptable limits. If you do this see prop, it appears to me that we're on the edge, but that we've got an acceptable limit. I'm looking at five seventy five here on the console. Has guess what are you reading at this 575. point? Five seventy five. I'd give you my recommendation that we continue. I copy that. ST entity. ST copies. And your recommendation. We uh Concur to go. I right, copy that. Launch director entity. Launch director, go ahead. Okay, based upon the trending, it's maintaining around 600. Uh, the test team is recommending proceed with countdown. Uh, NTD standby, so has gas, what you're reading at this point? 600. Okay, I copy. 550 at this point. Recommend continue, sir. Copy that, NTD, you're clear. Copy that. GLS entity, pick up count on your mark. GLS copy. I'll have to zoom on my mark. Three. Two, one, mark. DLS auto, DLS go for auto sprint start. 25. Separation of Columbia's twin solid rocket boosters. Columbia Houston performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Two minutes, 18 seconds into the flight. The booster officer has confirmed good separation of the solid rocket boosters and performance on board Columbia has been as expected. All three main engines are continuing to perform at 104% of rated thrust. The three auxiliary power units and fuel cells are also continuing to perform as expected. Columbia now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of 55 miles, an altitude of 42 miles, traveling 3,290 miles per hour. Columbia Houston, two-engine Ben Greer. 
to engine van. Spacecraft communicator Kurt Brown telling the crew that now in the event of a single engine failure, Columbia could reach the transatlantic landing site at Ben Gurir, Morocco. However, all three main engines continuing to perform as expected. Columbia now downrange 95 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 54 miles. Speed is 4,000 miles per hour.